speaks. God speaks. He speaks. Songs of his glory ring across the skies. He speaks. Worship cries from heaven and earth rise. He speaks. An explosion of life that silent night. The Holy One flexes to show his might. So perfect in all his ways. When he speaks, he is right. Unless he speaks, we don't know him. You see, man was chosen with all, with all else in creation below him to bear God's image and be spoken to, like children and fathers do. Love and truth, joy and food, community and abundance, a relationship harmonious, life to the fullest. Yet from such harmony rang a dissonance. Something happened. How could this happen? How could man challenge his maker's word and instead of God listen to the foulest voice on earth as Satan tempted, rebellion stirred, sin infiltrated the universe, man left hiding, trying not to be heard, guilty. Silence. Shame. Fellowship broken, God's righteous anger awoken. He speaks, God speaks, to curse, to cry, to condemn the fallen. And yet that day, he would promise that he would come to ransom us, to deliver us. He promised to make us new, to make all things new, silence. Hundreds of years of defiance, no power to change, no one righteous, glimpses of hope, but no Messiah, no word from God, only the promise, waiting, logging, silence. And then into silence, God speaks. He speaks. And sent the Christ on a mission to rescue the weak, a people to redeem, a promise to keep God speaks to a lowly young girl, gentle and meek. She carries the child all nations will seek. The answer, the Savior, the Lord, the Word. The Word became flesh that we may have life in him. His name is Jesus. He will save his people from their sins, from the throne to the womb, an unexpected arrival. Hallelujah, Emmanuel, no more silence. What wonder, what mystery to ponder and believe. Glory to God in the highest. He speaks. <laughs>